Today, we embark on a journey that takes us to Orca Lab, a small land-based research station on Hanson Island in the waters of the Inside Passage of Northern Vancouver Island. The work of Orca Lab is based on the philosophy that it is possible to study the wild without interfering with lives or habitat. I'm Paul Spong. I'm a co-director of Orca Lab. We're here because this is uh, really the center of uh, orca activity in, in this part of, uh, of the coast. Orcas are, I think, one of the more interesting creatures on the planet. We're doubling our solar capacity, and ultimately, if everything works, we'll be free of oil. This project behind me uh, is about to double in size, and that would not happen without the support from Bullfrog Power and, and the people who uh, choose to buy green energy from Bullfrog. My name is Jonathan Game. I sit on the board of directors of Emerging Leaders for Solar Energy. So coming from Toronto, and it's it's a big it's a big place, to a, to a, a beautiful island like this has has, has really been fantastic because it's just another example of of how solar can be integrated into, be it a development or a community, and, and really have a positive impact. This is a fantastic day. We're day three at Orca Lab. We're almost ready to put the panels up. This morning we had transient orcas that just happened to be going by. We heard them on sonar, then they actually came right by the porch. Kind of giving us a, a tip of the hat saying, we like what you're doing up there. <laughs> uh, the original plan was they're going to have 12, but they found a way to fit 16 panels, which means uh, we're ahead of the game. We did it. Orca Lab is going to be generating solar energy for years to come. And I know we're leaving Orca Lab with a legacy that the bullfrog community can take pride in. A bullfrog is a small animal with a powerful voice, and I'm excited to see how far the voice of an orca can travel.